Hey everyone, it's Rachel and in this video I will be sharing with you how I made this DIY party backdrop. Backdrops are definitely a thing at parties, weddings, or events because they basically make the perfect photo op. And plus, don't we all want something to take pictures in front of and put on Instagram? Something that's cute and Instagrammable. I love all things confetti or anything with a confetti pattern, but I couldn't find anywhere that I could actually buy a backdrop like this, so I decided to make one myself. And plus, the best thing about this backdrop is that you could use it multiple times, and if you want to, you could even hang it as a tapestry in your room. So let's start off with the material. You'll need a flat bed sheet. A printout of whatever saying you want, I just blew up the phrase let's pate on Word document and set it in the font that I wanted. I printed it out on three sheets of paper and they will act as stencils. Next, you'll need three colors of acrylic paint. And lastly, you'll need these circle sponges and regular paint brushes too. If you want to recreate this, all the materials used will be linked down below, but really, you can just go on a target run and find everything there. All right, so let's move on to the Let's Pot's Hay stencils. After laying out the sheet, I found the middle section of it and that is where I placed my printouts. Now, how do you get the letters onto the sheet? I found that the quickest way was to take the printouts and place them under the sheet. The sheet was sheer enough to see the letters which made it easy to trace out. With a ballpoint pen, I traced out the letters and I didn't worry about it being perfect since I was going in with black paint anyways. After it was all traced out, I went in with black acrylic paints. Make sure to have something beneath the sheet to catch the excess paint. I used a small piece of cardboard here. I'd like to say that 50% of my time making this DIY was spent on this part because I wanted to be super precise with each letter. Especially since the words were in cursive, there were a lot of loops, swoops, and swirls. I didn't have a super tiny brush, so I was very careful and I took my time to make the edges as clean as possible. And then after letting that dry for about 10 minutes or so, I moved on to the confetti. Since I would be working on the entire sheet, I first laid out a white table cover to catch any paint that would bleed through. To prevent that from moving beneath the sheet, I taped it along the edges. I laid out the sheet on top and then began with a first acrylic paint, which was a rose gold color. Taking the largest circle sponge brush, I dipped it in the paint and dabbed it onto the sheet. After that, I took the medium sized brush and dipped it into the pink acrylic paint. I suggest starting with the biggest circle brush first and then working it down to the smallest circle brush. Lastly, I took the smallest size brush and dipped it into the black paint. You can see that I painted the circles more concentrated at the top and this is because I wanted the confetti to have a falling effect. I let everything dry for a good 10 minutes again before doing the very last thing, which is adding more confetti. Realistically, confetti bunches together and isn't always perfectly spaced out. With all three colors of paint, I painted on top of other circles to create the effect of confetti that had bunched up. So if you recreate this, have fun with it and do whatever looks good to you. That is it, a pretty easy DIY if you ask me. This in total took me about three hours, but that was only because I was waiting for the paint to dry before moving on to the next step. But overall, I, I really like it. It's Instagrammable and it's cute. I'd like to thank you so much for watching and I hope this video gave you an idea for your next backdrop DIY or even decor DIY that you would do for your own room. I don't know, let me know if you liked it. This is Rachel and I will see you in my next one. Bye.